Hey, how's it going? So you're here because you want to know how to create a six figure online business, right? Well, I'm going to show you what I do and I'm going to show you some examples of exactly how you can create a six figure per year online business and potentially a seven figure business. So for those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Adam Snyder, also known as the homemade entrepreneur. I've, over the past 10 years, I've created many different businesses that have done over six figures per year. I've even have some businesses that do over seven figures per year. So first, I just want to show you kind of what I what I do, okay? What the process is that I go through, and then I'm going to show you some actual businesses that you can run that I actually run myself that can make you six figures per year. So actually, you maybe you want to see that. Let's just go look at that right now. So right here, this is a video that I did. Uh, I'm just going to mute it, uh, but. It's a video I did talk about different businesses, okay? Creating websites. Um, this is a way you can make, and there's 10 ways to make passive income. The reason why I want to introduce you to this video if you haven't seen it yet, and it will be the first link in the description box below, so go check it out. The reason why I want to show you this, and I'm not going to play this entire video, I just want to you know, mention it, is because if you want to make six figures per year, how much is that, okay? And we're going to break that down because honestly, you need to have active income and you should have passive income, you know, mixed together to reach that six figure mark per year. So that's where I recommend you start is to figure out what you could potentially do. Okay. Do that first. Then what are you good at? Maybe you're good at sales, right? Maybe you're just an incredible salesman. If you are good at sales, figure out a way to hone in on that, to really pinpoint what the business is that you can do to maximize your potential, to maximize you know, your, you know, your, expert, your expertise, your, your knowledge, all that stuff, okay? If you're good at sales, great. If you're good at, uh, um, let's say, you know, mar let's say uh, email marketing, figure out a way to create a business around email marketing, okay? I do email marketing through, and I use affiliate marketing, I use uh, core sales, I do coaching, I do a bunch of stuff that I mix into email marketing, because I'm good at email marketing, but I'm also, I'm decent at sales, but I'm not like this incredible salesman, okay? So what are you good at? Let's say you are, you're not um, good at, uh, let's say you're not good at um, customer relations. If you don't uh, really talk to customers correctly, if you have a tough time, you know, addressing, you know, their concerns, helping them out, maybe that's not something you're good at. So you want to make sure that you are not directly working with a customer. So how can you how can you do that? What kind of business can you start? Okay. So figure out what you're good at. Once you figure out what you're good at, what you're not good at, it will one tell you what you can do. Two, if you want to do a business such as let's say you want to do uh, you want to do affiliate marketing, which is one of the businesses I talk about inside this um, let's see inside this video right here. Talk about affiliate marketing. Talk about core sales talk about peer-to-peer -peer lending, I talk about Amazon FBA, I talk about a bunch of stuff, okay? So, figure out what you're good at, figure out what you're not good at, because if you can pinpoint those two two different things, okay, those two different, uh, you know, what you're good at, what you're not good at, what's gonna happen is you can either decide on a business that you can run by yourself, okay? You'll be the sole you know, operator of that business, or you can hire somebody, or you can take somebody on as a partner, and you can both do it, and uh, you know they may they maybe they're good at customer relations, maybe you're good at sales, and you put your two uh, expertise together, and you will make a great business out of it. So that's one thing. How much money do I need to make a hundred thousand dollars per year? Now I'm not including taxes. This is just how much can I make? Okay. So this doesn't include taxes and doesn't include any of your expenses. First thing I'd recommend: work backwards. Okay, ten or a hundred thousand dollars a year is like some huge number. Most people think oh, I'm never gonna get that. It's not that much. Okay, let's just punch in the numbers. Hundred thousand dollars divided by, uh, you know, uh, well, twelve months. Okay, eight thousand three hundred thirty-three dollars. Put that in. Okay, that's how much you're gonna make per month. Now let's break it down per year or per day. Divide by 365 equals 200. We're going to say 275. Okay. So $275 per day. A week. How much is that? Again, you're probably thinking, oh, 
$8,333 a month is just a huge number. How am I ever going to get there? Well, uh, 275 times, we're going to say 30 days. Um, oops. 275 times 7 days for a week. 1925 is what you need to make per week. And so if that is how much you can make per day, 275, divide that by 8 hours, you can make $35 per hour. That's doable, right? There's a lot of jobs out there. Jobs. I'm not saying online business. I'm saying jobs that pay you $35 an hour. How much do you think you can get paid when you are working efficiently, you're working smart, and you have passive income also paying you at the same time you're working one of your active income streams? That's where you can really, you know, break out your business and go from $0 online to $100,000 online to $500,000 online and potentially a million dollars plus, okay? So here are your numbers right here. You know, screenshot that. Whatever you do, write it down. Now, examples of $100,000 a year online businesses. These are businesses that I have done, okay? So I have an Amazon FBA business um, that does over $100,000 profit per year. This isn't even $100,000 uh, you know, net. This is profit. This is more than a hundred thousand dollars profit. You know, I've even broke. You know, well, we're not gonna talk about it. anyway. So, a hundred thousand dollars with Amazon FBA. That's one, and that's something I talked about inside this video as well. So, go watch it. Okay. Now, even affiliate marketing. If you're not sure what affiliate marketing is, it means let's say I take this stress ball right here, and you know, let's say you're a buyer, you really want the stress ball. All I do is say. You know, give you a review, do something like that, and send you to the place where you can buy it. And as the middleman, I would get a small commission for you to buy whatever product it is. Usually, I'm using uh, Amazon as my main affiliate marketing, uh, you know, source. But you know, that's just me. Okay, that's another business I do that makes over a hundred thousand dollars per year. Okay, course sales. I've been creating courses for many years now. I have a bunch of different courses on different things. Some do only maybe you know, a few thousand dollars a year. They're very small courses, but they're like introductory courses um, that get you into a, you know a higher paying course, maybe get you into a full coaching service, whatever it is. Uh, maybe even get you into some type of affiliate marketing offer, which is you know a five thousand, ten thousand dollar offer. So those all kind of combine. But course sales are a great way. Um, online coaching this is one back in 2016 i did i think it was right about 90 some thousand uh that year just in online coaching that's an incredible number for online coaching especially i was doing it part-time in 2017 it was something that i was i wasn't really active in it but i was still doing more than i wanted to do i could have still done over a hundred thousand dollars i actually cut that back but being it was so close and honestly hundred thousand dollars it's right there to do online coaching, especially if someone's going to pay you, uh, even if it's $99 an hour, uh, $150 an hour, whatever it is, you only need a few people to pay you to reach that $275 per day. Okay, If you had three people paying you that $99 per hour, you'd be there. Okay, So that's another one. Now, here's something that a lot of people are getting into, um, and I'm not saying I... Okay, drop shipping. This is one I'm currently doing right now. Okay, I'm currently doing drop shipping right now. Um, it's a new business that I started, and it's something that you know I think I could potentially scale you know well over a hundred thousand uh, dollars a year online. But it's something that's it's new. Okay, it's new to me. It's not new to everybody else. It's new to me because I've I've always sold the physical product over here on Amazon FBA. Even sold the physical products on on eBay as well. So. That's another example of $100,000 per year, a six-figure business, six-figure online business. If you want to make a six-figure online business, you can. You have the potential. There's so many ideas out there. Okay, There's people making over $100,000 on YouTube Okay, right here on this platform, creating free videos. You watch them. They get paid a small you know, percentage, and they make some money. Great. That's obviously a great business to get into, especially when people want to consume free content. That's one of the hardest parts about course sales because it's not free content you they get a little bit of initial free content such as this video maybe I say hey go check out my course in the description box below then they see oh it's you know four hundred dollars five hundred dollars six hundred dollars whatever it is 
And it's like, well, that's, yeah, I can't afford that. Okay. That's why there's so many things. Drop shipping, you, you, you get a, you know, cheap item from China or from somewhere else and you sell, you up, you sell it for, let's say it costs you $3. You sell it for 15. You make the difference. Not bad. It's kind of the same principle with Amazon FBA. I buy cheaper items over from China, get a, a whole bulk order, a whole, you know, huge shipment sent over to me. And I, you know, send it off to Amazon and then Amazon sells it. I make, you know, a small commission or a small percentage of that profit. Um, you know, affiliate marketing, you know, some, there's some things that I'm making, you know, 10, 20%. There's other things I'm making 50 to 60% of the, the purchase price. So, you know, the money's there. If you want to make, if you want to create a six figure online business, you can. Okay. This is the main thing right here. Break down your numbers and then find a business that will work with these numbers. Okay. If you need to do online coaching and you're going to charge or you want to do online coaching because you have just, just a great knack for teaching people. That's awesome. Do that. But you need to understand if you're going to charge $20 an hour, how many hours do you need to work to make $275 a day? Okay. Think about that. You need to, you need to first look at the numbers and then figure out what business you can do that will match this. Okay. If not far exceed it, because honestly you may not get three coaching clients every single day to pay you, you know, $99 to do a coaching call. You need the, you know, the clientele, you need the, you know, the traffic, you need people that are looking to hire somebody as a coach. Okay. So figure out what you're good at as well. But again, you do not need to do this. You can do this first and I recommend it. But the main thing is when I already did it for you, figure out your numbers, figure out how many hours a day you think you will actively work and then figure out what business can go into it. Okay. Like I said, go watch this video. It's going to be the first link in the description box below. And it's just going to show you what are 10, you know, great passive income streams that you can do online from your computer. And you can start today because honestly, each one of these is going to teach you something. It's going to show you something different. Okay. Uh, this one selling digital, uh, digital products or digital photography. There's so many options out there for you. All you have to do is start one, build it up scale that business move on to the next income stream start that one build it up all while you're building up your first one and just keep them going okay so hopefully that kind of helps you on you know how to start uh, or how to create a six-figure online business again it's not it's not that complicated when you break it down step by step just like i showed you right here and i'd keep going i keep going okay let's say i choose amazon fba what i would do is i would take this Okay, I take this and we're going to break it down. How am I going to run an Amazon FBA business? What products am I going to buy? How much am I selling for? You know, how am I going to market my business? How am I going to, you know, advertise? You know, what am I going to do? Okay, you know, am I going to do everything from my house, from my office, from my warehouse, from, you know, someone's garage? What am I going to do? Okay, so you can keep going, keep breaking it down. And so, you know, step by step exactly what you can do. Okay, so again, check out that video if you want to. Uh, if you have any questions on you know, how to create a six figure online business or you have any questions on the examples I showed you, then just let me know. You can always comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to watch more videos like this, you want to create a six figure online business, you want to be an online entrepreneur, make sure you click that subscribe button. Also click the notification bell and I will see you guys on the next video.